got to Lake Argyle Caravan Park and it's absolute madness. Oh no, that is gorgeous, that bloody wet mic was over in there. Day two, Lake Argyle Caravan Park. Still stuck outside on the road. But it does look like we could get into there. We'll just have to wait and see. All depends on how many people leave. Uh, there's not that many people out here at the moment, just a few. There's also a few waiting in the caravan park parking area that came this morning. So, it is what it is, just have to wait and see. Just got my first walk at Lake Argyle Caravan Park. Nice little walk up to the top of the hill, overlooking the dam wall and the gorge, it's beautiful. Wood River. Fish. Well, this is what we had for dinner last night. 45 km east to west, and the circumference is a cool 950 kilometers at full storage capacity. But at full capacity, you can actually go 55 km northeast to southwest there without adjusting the steering on the boat once. So, a huge amount of water out there. South Point called Point Patsy. Again, a very nice, simple reason for that. Points directly out of Patsy Durex Homestead site. This is where all those station buildings are, um, still are actually, just the one building they managed to pull up in time. Now the reason they are still all down there, they're in about 20 metres of water at the moment. By the time we get to October it'll be more like 10 and that's when it turns back into a dive site. So pretty interesting diving down there if you can cope with the lack of visibility. The reason it's interesting is because of the amount of stuff there. There's tractors, there's cars, there's machinery. Um, the reason everything is still down there by the one building is the speed the lake filled. So they thought it was going to take eight to nine years to fill to storage capacity. Took everyone by surprise. They had three good wet seasons, well, up, it went, up to storage in three wet seasons. So the reason it did, it did fill in three was the size of our catchment area mostly. As the area down the south side of the lake here, the Fitzroy Bungles Hall Creek, Hall Creek areas. So it's naturally 46,000 square kilometers in size, our catchment area, which is a similar size to Switzerland. So a huge volume of water coming into the lake. The other reason is the flow rate of the Ord River. So they did measure the flow rate in the, in the wet seasons. It's the second quickest on the planet, second only to the Amazon River. And the Amazon has a catchment area four times the size of ours. So pretty impressive statistics from the Ord River. This is it flying in from the south side and this riverbed is always the deepest point in the lake, topping out to the 46.3 in the middle of the heads of the lake there. I don't want to land on you. Three, two, one, eh? Ready? Good job, old dog. One, two, three. Oh, 
ما بحو Yes. One, two, three. Oh, nice. <laughs> well done. I need a lot more than that. They look very graceful. Oh, I reckon. I went a long way down. <laughs> <laughs> Just here at the Old River Hydro Power Station on Lake Argyle. It's absolutely huge. Over there is not the water that comes from the turbines, the turbines are all underground. That's just the amount of water letting out the lake to flow down the river. morning just left morning. Lake Argyle Caravan Park this morning absolute fantastic time stopped there three nights one night was on the car park outside because it's that busy at the moment but it was good enough we could uh, whilst we're on the car park we had the use of all the facilities the swimming pool and all that uh, leaving this morning or whilst we were there we did the sunset cruise that's a must if you ever go down there, you get to swim in the lake and they tell you all about the history of the lake and the area and things like that. It was that. good, wasn't it? Really, 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 really good. Yeah. You can jump in off the boat, throw a beer to you, drink beer in the lake. Yeah, really good. We had a really good laugh on that one. 
Uh, we're now leaving now. We're gonna spend one week at a caravan park, Lake Dis is it called? Discovery Parks. Discovery Parks in Kananara. So we're gonna be there for a week, probably relaxing, enjoying meals out and a few drinks to celebrate my 60th birthday. I thought you'd have to get that in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to all, the, to all those that can't be with us, I'll still have a good time.